Hello, hello everyone. My name is Maya. In case you're new here, I like to play video games. I've been taking a little bit of hiatus. I've been going through some things, trying to get myself figured out. I'm not in a great place mentally right now, which is a big difference from my last video I made and have yet to post. But it is what it is. And as you can see from what's behind me, we're going to be playing some Casting of Frankstone. Super excited for this, especially considering we'll be getting some on later this year as well. Ugh, I love super massive games. I love Dead by Daylight. I'm just over, overall just super excited for everything. I don't remember anything. About, I haven't watched anybody play this game, so I don't really know what's happening. I do, like, like I said, I know it's inspired by the world of Dead by Daylight. So, but that's about all the information I have. But that being said, um, this game is going to have some very minimal cuts. Very little. It's just going to, we're just going to go through it. We're gonna do, I think there's like 14 chapters, so we're gonna make each chapter, for the most part, an episode. And, which of course means there'll be quite a few videos of it, but they're not gonna be super long videos. Like half an hour, I think each chapter is like half an hour at most, on average. But with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into this. So we're gonna switch my camera view over to Bam. Ah, it didn't actually go, it didn't actually open when I wanted it to open, so that didn't work. But, let's just get into this. Oof, boy. New game. I got my settings all set up. We're going to play on the basic survivor setting. New save data. Dead by Daylight is one of my favorite multiplayer dead by games, so I will be pointing out everything from Dead by Daylight when I can. Some will save lives. Some will result in... Hear that goose? I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Interesting. Which perspective is this? Puppy. I'm assuming puppy. Well, I guess not little, that's probably, that's at least a waist height table, so. Maybe not a little puppy. <laughs> Baby crying. I'm very not hydrated right now, so apologize for you guys seeing me just demolish. Hunt for missing to continue. And a dead rat. You dirty rat. You killed my father. <laughs> The Burning Maw. Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. Mm, let's go.
He's awake. Look at him go. You got this, Kratos. <laughs> Oregon. I'm from Oregon, guys. This is terrifying. I guess we do have a lot of notes, so kind of makes sense. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you, covering the entire site? Oh no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust time. myself. Um. Let's be serious. Be straight to the point. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know it about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. We're gonna be curious. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? My records? In the logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Like I said, we're gonna play this cop as straight to the point as possible. Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. <gasps> Alcohol. Accusatory. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe. Straight to the point. Your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got a cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Well, uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, Frank? That's it. Fred's, Fred's some. Come on, Tom. Maybe Frank, since we know this. I'm sorry, Sam. We know who the killer is already. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. That what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. Oh, no. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. Would you, though? Uh... We'll be stirred. What makes you so sure? Is ESP a side effect of your medicinal practices? Now that is out of line! But it's got you thinking. Sorry, now. officer. I want to help. I really do, but I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to have a look around the place yourself. Thanks, thank you, Tom. I think I'll do that. Alrighty then. Happy to oblige. Ooh, what are we gonna eat, Merlin? Lakes lure them in here to them for a lifetime. Alright, I know absolutely nothing about this game. I don't know what collectibles look like. I don't know what the lore pieces look like. Um, I did pre order this, so I do have Thunderer's Instinct, but I don't know how that's gonna go off. But the perk from Dead by Daylight just like lets you know when there's a chest within a chest, within like a certain amount of just. So I'm assuming that's going to be like to let me know where, I don't know, maybe collectibles are. I didn't actually read anything, I just watched the game. More so for the blood points than by daylight than anything. <laughs> okay. And if 
I know anything about Supermassive Games, besides that this is very dark, it is the fact that we've got to look everywhere for the lore. There's a gap in the fence. Gap in the fence. Is it stop getting stuck on the wood? Well, that's what she said. I'm in a better mood this morning. I was not in a very good mood last night when I was originally going to record this. And, you know, like I said, I'm in a better mood this morning. So it's great. Ops. You're a desert king. You promised to take away my pain, take away my nightmare. It looks like the rook from a chest, a chest table. A chest, this is the proper word. A, a chest set. I almost said a chest deck, and they're not they're not a deck of cards. That's not how that works. <laughs> okay. I don't know if any, if any of you guys have played this yet. Don't don't drop me any spoilers. But do they like? I know they say cedar uh, cedar hills uh, in Oregon. Do they, is that like an actual, I live in Oregon, but like I'm too lazy to actually Google it right now to see if that's an actual place. <laughs> but um, what are your guys' thoughts on the game? I, everybody on Twitter seems to be complaining about it. They're like, it's not super long. It didn't implement things very well. It was just fan service to Dead by Daylight. Which, even if it is just fan service to Dead by Daylight, I'm not- window. I can get in through there. There. I'm not entirely against that. If you guys have played, I would just love to hear your opinions. Because obviously my opinion's not always the best, considering when you look at the other games, Little Hope and Man of Medan are the ones that people think are. Yeah, Little Hope and Man of Medan are the ones that people think are the worst. Little Hope is probably up there as one of my favorites from the Dark Pictures mythology, so my opinions can't be can't be held accountable. <laughs> Does it? Easy does it. Oh boy. I will also be buying the next game from Rail from the uh, Fears to Fathom series. That that one just came out a couple days ago. I will be buying it so we can play it since I played all the others. I also have yet to watch anybody play that one, so we I'm prepared to be messing that one up. I do gotta say, the um, atmosphere is really getting to me. This is making me super uncomfortable. <laughs> Part of the reason why I'm rambling so much, because if I'm rambling, I can't be uncomfortable. To be fair, that logic doesn't always work, because I also think that if I make myself look pretty, I can't be sad, but... Page their own. Making things work. Uh, there's things here that I can't see because I keep spazzing. Okay, actually, there's. Oh my god! I just thought those <laughs> those pallets were a body. Like I just turned and all I saw was like the outline of that, and I thought it was a body. <laughs> the value of each bundle in this area one. And I live in an area where we specifically just have lumber mill lumber mills and a lot of them. The best safety measure is a mindful worker, which sounds right. Like Be able to return to the boat. So when it does that and you have to hold it down to it, you will not be able to return. Okay, that 
good information to know as long as I remember it. Friday the 13th. We just had one of those. Afternoon from 1422. Harold, Dennis, Bobby, Frank Stone, Lou Osterman. Nobody on graveyard. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three coups without the manpower. Some fellow's gonna have to double up the ship. Pull the lump in out front. No one's worth the night for a while. Who's up? Uh, Fifth Overseer, Hanson, Graham, Peter, Turner, Peter, Peter, Peter. That, has, that apparently was not a collectible, but whatever. Here, trash. There just seems to be a lot of things that I should be that look like I should be able to open them, and I can't. Just wait, I can open this. I can't open this. Huh? But I did knock something down. Boys, personnel record, over kid of boy, February fourth. Her name preferred. Oh, is this Frank Stone's? Horse, Edinburgh, Horse, Horse, Seven. Uh, Joe Mockness, Madras, Seeger, How, Peter Hills, Drunkard, Lucky Charges, Salt Robbery, Ready in Idaho, Monster, Early Release, Green, Five Dreams, Rehabilitation, Monster, Main Contact, Dr. Ah. I'm assuming we, well, it's not even an assumption because like she told us. Uh, a Dr. Augustine Lieber is probably who that is. Alright. Well, we've searched this entire area, so I'm assuming we can move on now. God, this is giving me the freaking what are they called? The steel mill from Oh god, I've already forgotten the name. The steel mill from uh Locked. Dead by Daylight. The ironworks? That's Maybe. hardcore. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard? Hello? Anyone Ooh. here? It's police! Aware, falling to bricks from stick boys. Headwear must be worn in this area. God, seriously, the atmosphere with the music right now is freaking me out, and then, like, it's so dark. I feel like these are just gonna pop out at me. And like all of that the groaning and creaking. Right <laughs> now the lights. You know, that makes me think I need to go through that. Okay, down here. Moving on. Art. Who's there? The hell is that noise? You, why is it so wet? Did they say this took place? 1963? I don't actually remember much about 1963. So 
But was that the year that Kennedy was assassinated? My old shadow just scared me. Ugh, smells like death. Ew. Ew, what is that noise? Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. Stop it. That noise is nauseating. Now I'm gonna check that door. Oh, goose. Mister, that's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No, yeah, sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah, It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's the smell like? Do we? Nothing good. Do we have to find out where it's coming from? I feel like you should be calling for backup at this point. Ugh, this is all kinds of terrible life decisions right now. This flashlight's not doing shit. What is that? I think we found Merlin. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Oh my god. What is he eating? You two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> Ew, why are we holding it with no gloves? Gross. Why are we holding? Eh. Do you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't Bones possible. In there. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Somebody with something to hide. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? I'm a Alright, we're done quoting Shark Tales. We're holding an ear. A human ear. Blech. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Because <laughs> it's the dog's fault that he's eating human meat. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Oh, that's not a baby deer. Bring me unsettled. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Somebody interested well, in their community? Somebody does. That's even fair. Who even says that this poor, poor soul is from Cedar Hills? Okay. Where am I going? We keep. Where did we come from? Oh, we came from this way. Okay. Alright. Make sure we're moving along in the right direction here. Ooh, I stepped in it. <gasps> A trinket box. A trinket box for my trinkets. We only have one. Four, five, six, twelve. Twice. Gotta find 
ourselves well trinkets, my dudes. What was that sound? Not a sound I wanna deal with. We're fine. Stay behind me. Yeah. Let me go first. We always know what happens to the We always know what happens in the horror movie. I just I don't know, this seems like a terrible decision. I would be calling for backup right now. But you found what seems to be human remains. I would not go looking further, but I guess he is looking for a baby, so like I kinda understand, but I also really So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. <laughs> hmm. Same. But I work at a, I work at a bar on a, a bar uh, for a resort, and it's like, I only work the bar. I don't know anything else about the resort. I could try to give you answers, but I'm not going to be very good at them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fine. <laughs> oh, off the fence, my dude. I'm actually impressed you're doing that in that uniform. Because those uniforms are not very flexible. A Kerber! Gotcha. I got a Kerber. <laughs> Sounds from Dead by Daylight. Is there anything over here before we go attempt to open that grate? No? Alrighty then. Let's pop this bad boy open. Stand back. I'm fine. You don't need my help. <coughs> okay. We're recording before time runs out. I got this. I thought it was going to ask me to do it again. God, I just know that thing's hella heavy, though. <clears throat> Alright. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Well, where, where are you That's going? You really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling. Oh, it's not a good feeling. feeling. Hey. Ew! I'm gonna need you to take this too. Blech. Blech. Make sure the sheriff gets Got a weak this. stomach. Oh, boy, I don't know. Sheriff could use a little pick me up right about now. He's over. Aha! Scornful! Hey, you really want to be remembered as an old drunk who could have done something when he had the chance? That ain't you. Don't let that be you. Yeah. Uh, Shit on his pride. Uh, step up. Get your head straight. All right. Yeah. I've been watching too many Gravity Fall memes. <laughs> okay. What's your faith in Tom? We might li we I hope we live to regret that. I don't know. I'm kind of liking Sam so far, even if I think he's being a real idiot. There's a letter. Oh, that looks wet and gross. Where'd our hat go? Where'd our, where'd our hat go? Our hat! Find a way to Damn the furnace chamber. 
You're not gonna. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, I would not want to put that back in my bag. The furnace access is that way, which obviously means I'm going this way first. God, that is so cool, though. Like, just look at that. That is awesome. That is, in fact, super fucking cool. What an awesome way to play the to play this part of the game. What's in it? A trinket. You know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire waits. was hearing people walk. Uh, we can follow the signs. I just need to find everything. I don't want to miss things. You know? Yeah, no. Doesn't appear to be anything down here. So, moving on. And then straight past this one, because I think this one had a sign on it. Yeah, that one had a sign. Damn it. Oh wait, no, it was stop. It was stop me to look at that again. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's no door handle on this one. Try to open that. Okay, apparently, I don't see anything really great, so I guess we're just going down. Yeah, burn, burn axe. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the village. That's strange symbols to you? I don't- that doesn't look like anything to me. <laughs> what does that look like to you? Whatever. Wait. Furnace access is that way, which means we're going this way. There. Oh. Dead end, but it's always good to check. Oh, that's just my feet. <laughs> this has got to be it. What's telling you that? The the giant sign saying furnace access this way? What's this? It's a person. Not that I can see said person very well, but Man, you're just getting your fingerprints all over everything. Do you not have gloves? That way. Rain. Do you hear someone? Music is the ambiance. <laughs> Ribs. Disgusting. Actually disgusting. Ah, uh, this place turns my stomach. I agree. Are you trying to tell me I gotta go there? I have to go there? Huh. I'm like, yeah. It's the hillbilly. Yeah, just get weirder and weirder down here. Twisted man turned monster. Oh, that's cool. This is one of the killers you can play in Dead by Daylight. The hillbilly. Max Thompson Jr. is a sight not even his mother could love. A twisted man turned monster. In the silence that hangs over Coldwind Farm, one must keep their ear to the wind, alert to the rusty roar of grinding metal and motor. Because even if Max makes no attempt to hide his approach, his vengeance comes with a brutal swiftness. Yeah, he, his is one of the sadder backstories for the killers in Dead by Daylight, because most of the killers don't are not evil. 
they're they just grew up in a very messed up time. Like I think more the backstory for the hillbilly is that his parents um walled up walled him in in the basement. So that like he couldn't get out. I don't remember much more. It's been a while since I since I read any of the lore, but Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the killers in Dead by Daylight are just misunderstood, not truly. They're they're products of their circumstances. Man, I there's twelve of those. I bet we're gonna get most of the original killers. God damn so, small spaces. With this being in a steel mill, we'll probably see like the trapper. We'll probably see like maybe the nurse and the huntress. Uh that looks like the way I want. Uh we'll probably also see Wraith. Oh, I'm just so excited. Here. Item on the ground right there. Back back here. What's this? Oh, it's a bloody piece of metal. My god. What's important about that? Why are you saying my god? What's important about it? Besides obviously the blood on it. That now also has your fingers on it. Because for whatever reason, you're not wearing gloves. You just go check press X and the pointers and set this press. Oh, are you serious? That was essentially in there. Fucking skill check. God damn it. And now I don't have a flashlight. Damn it. Don't forget it. Don't forget to get a tetanus shot after this. God, that's so stupid. I it was in there. Walk around to the other side of the ladder, please. <sighs> okay. A big furnace. This is hellish. It's pretty though. Like that color, that's pretty. Son of a fuck. Son of a fuck. The baby. Crip. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. He's here. Uh, ladder. Obviously, it's the faster route. It's more direct. Okay, at least that one one was in the box. That's where the cutouts from. Wait, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sam, fight back. Come on, Sam. Fuck him up. Uh, get it, get it, get it. God, Sam. You guys are like the same size. You can take him. Shoulder hurts just looking at that. Come on, you got. Uh, uh, uh. You gotta get yourself off for that child. Oh my god, for the child. Save the child. Oh, oh, oh. my shoulders. My shoulders. Oh my god, my shoulders. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Save the kid, 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 save the kid. Who is she? Wait, no, we know who she is. That was stupid. That was Augustine. We were introduced to her at the beginning. Oh my god, save the child. Oh my god, oh my god, save the child. Wasn't that the shoulder that was impaled? Speaking of impaled. <laughs> Speaking of impaled. Got Frank Stone and saved the Um, managed to free himself from the pipe without permanent damage to his shoulder. That's impressive. Sam shot and killed Stone, saving the child from certain death. Oh, his jaw has disintegrated. I'm not gonna say you didn't deserve that, but oh my god. Big time, motherfucker. <laughs> it's so graphic. I'm so sorry, Sam. Is there a way to stop him from being impaled? Not him, obviously, but Sam. He's got skizers on his on his hip. Does these bookworm make? What was that song from TikTok? With big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. Uh, I don't remember any more than that. That was that's it. Who are you? Addison. Old Zeke? It's okay. It's okay. It? <sighs> okay. <sighs> have a roof. Alright, so obviously we can look at the door. Anything here we can look at? Yep. Oh look! Look at a cup. What a scary cup, guys. Actually a really pretty cup. Wait, uh, what does that say? Friday the 13th, the living end. Greenwich Village. What was it? It's kind of cool, I guess. I'm not sure there's anything here. Can't interact with that door. Take care of me, mm. and I'm assuming mom. As she just said, mom. Me and mom. Mom and I. Say mom, right? Mother, wait for me. Mother, it's very frightening. Uh, None of this is right. Appears to be our room again, and Mother's face is scratched out. Hmm, don't like that music. Really don't like that music. Um, I don't think anything's gonna. Watch with something to change the cup, and I'm just being too. What the? What is this? Oh, scary. Yeah, watch with something does change the cup. <laughs> Mother, come back! What is going on with mom's face? Super cool. So I don't like I said I don't know how much of you how many of you guys play Dead by Daylight, but that 
the way this guy looks right now reminds me of the dream state for uh freddy krueger in the game See, like this is just, this is giving me dream state vibes it's so cool wait a minute wait a minute oh we leave scratch marks in the game you you leave scratch marks behind you when you run that the killer can see and follow oh This is awesome. I can run though, we're walking really slow. Please. Right, we're getting to the end of this episode. Hopefully, we're about 45 minutes in. Or a little over 45 minutes. Aw, oh, the scratch marks disappeared. Obviously, the TV doesn't look like we can go anywhere else so we'll just interact. Turn on. Mom sounds pretty distorted. I'm here. Everything's all right. That's the entity. Entity. Entity? That's anti. In, in the um in Dead by Daylight, the entity he when you hook some when you hook a survivor enough times, the entity will come down and it will just like hook like it will take its limbs and like shove it through their star basically. And takes them. So using that animation is super. That's also pretty. I at my first playthrough, I turned, I had, I took, I chose the option to turn off like any copyrightable music. That's not to say that that will actually work most of the time, but it is what it is. Uh, I also can't wait to play it on my own with the normal music on to see what the difference is and how it changes the ambiance. Can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. Dearest Madison, your presence is required for a personal audience. I do not read. I saw the name Augustine Weaver. Is that a hitchhiker? Uh. Stop. The name Augustine Lieber. I wonder where 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 oh, wah, 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 wah. I wonder where we're at. <clears throat> so uh you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Oh. Random. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. Madison's a you little You can drop awkward. me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? No. Uh, guess not. Well, are you coming? <sighs> I am confusion! Goes to pick up the
So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. <laughs> Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles. That's cool. And Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like Depends a really on where you nice live. kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's Linda? nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, be curious. That seems like Maddie. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel cool. a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Yeah. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? Mm, <laughs> well, definitely. I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. I'm be surprised. You. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Sometimes it is. Look at all the YouTubers that are successful. They, half the time, have, they've just become good. Uh, they're good at what they do and they just become really good at it. Hey, take a look. A look-see. I think we've about. come to the end of the rainbow. This is all a rainbow. Okay, yeah, so this is second chapter. So, quitting to the main menu. We're going to switch this over. Alright. So, I fucking around my camera. There we go. Uh <laughs> Man, where am I going with this? So, I do hope you guys are enjoying this. I love Supermassive. I love Dead by Daylight. So I'm super excited to see how this game plays out. I know a lot of people are shitting on it in Twitter right now. But I am holding out to form my own opinion. As of right now, I'm loving the ambiance. So, I mean, that's all I have. That's all I really have to say. I'm loving the ambiance. We don't have too much character building. Um, so far, we've only met two of, I think there's five playable characters. We've now met Madison and we've met Sam. And Sam seems like a stand-up guy, you know? But that being said, I don't have much else to say. I need to go get ready for the day. I need to go shower. I need to go get dressed for work, find myself some food, find myself some lunch, but we're gonna leave this here. So if you guys are like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. I will be working on posting more often again. I apologize for the delay, but I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!